Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak everyone. Yay! Ramadan is finally here. It's the best time to do lots and lots of extra worship such as reading Quran, praying to Hajjud at night, giving lots and lots and lots of charity to the poor, learning new hadith, and studying the lives of the Prophet salam. Ramadan is also a great time to eat iftar with family and friends. But remember, don't overeat or you will get a sore tummy. That's right, Laith. Ramadan is the month of fasting, so eating less is best. You should always try not to get angry or use bad language. And we must avoid sleeping all day, going on the internet for too long, watching too much TV, or playing games on our devices for a long time. Ramadan is the best time to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our iman. We hope you all have a great Ramadan and achieve all your goals. Let's now listen to Zaki's Ramadan song together. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan is the month of mercy. Ramadan is the month of fasting. Ramadan is the month of giving and helping those in need. Ramadan is the month of the Quran, the month in which it first came down. To Prophet Muhammad in year 16, a guide for all mankind. Ramadan for fasting, for giving, Ramadan for praying. Be patient, Ramadan for giving and feeding, Ramadan. We love you, oh Ramadan. Ramadan is the month of patience, Ramadan is the month of sacrifice, Ramadan is the month of praying in the mosque for Tarawih. Ramadan is such a fruitful month for gaining lots of hasana. The devils are chained and Jahannam is locked for all of Ramadan. We don't eat food, no, we don't lose our temper, no, we don't drink anything, no. Assalamu alaikum children. Today inshallah we are going to learn the dua to say before we break our fast. After a long day of fasting with nothing to eat or drink, Muslims all around the world sit down at the dinner table at Maghrib time and break their fast together. But did you know that before eating we should make the dua that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us. The dua to say is ذهب الظماء وابتلت العروق وثبت الأجر إن شاء الله. To help us memorize this dua, let's repeat it one more time. ذهب الظماء وابتلت العروق وثبت الأجر إن شاء الله. Which means the thirst is gone, the veins are moistened, and the reward has been earned if Allah wills. Saying this dua is a great way to end your day of fasting. Did you know children that dua at the time of breaking your fast is one of the times that it is accepted by Allah? So be sure to make lots of dua at the time of iftar. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for anything that you wish for such as forgiveness, good health, patience while fasting and also make dua for those who are going through difficult times. To end our day of fasting, it is sunnah to break our fast with dates or water. 
The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Whoever has dry dates, then let him break the fast with that. And whoever does not, then let him break the fast with water. For indeed, water is purifying. After breaking your fast, you should try your best not to overeat. Otherwise, you will feel tired and it will be difficult for you to pray tarawih at the masjid. I ask Allah to accept your fasting and dua. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to learn about the wonderful words of Surah Al Ikhlas. This surah is very special because it is all about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One day when the disbelievers were teasing Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they asked him, Who is this Allah? the Lord that you are talking about. And what is he made from? Is he made from gold, silver or copper? That is when Allah the Most High revealed a short but powerful surah called Surah Al-Ikhlas. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then recited it to them. They were in shock and they did not have an answer. This surah is so amazing that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that it is equal to one third of the entire Qur'an. Now that we know why Allah revealed Surah Al-Ikhlas, let's see what the words mean. Ayah 1 Qul huwa Allahu ahad Which means Say, He is Allah, who is the one and only. This means that Allah is the one and only true God, and He is the only one we should worship. Ayah 2, Allahu Samad, which means Allah is a Samad. A Samad means that Allah does not need us, but we need him. A samad also means that Allah lives forever and ever and never dies. Ayah 3 Lam yalid wa lam yulad Which means he was not born and he does not give birth. This means that Allah does not have parents or children like we do. Ayah 4 وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ Which means, and there is nothing like him. Meaning, there is nothing like or equal to Allah because he is so special and so unique. In other words, you can never ever imagine what Allah really looks like. Even though Surah Al-Ikhlas is quite short, the meanings are so great. It teaches us that Allah is special, perfect, one of a kind, the only one we worship, the one who all the creation needs while Allah needs no one, not born, does not have parents or children, and there is nothing like him. Now that we know the wonderful meanings of Surah Al-Ikhlas, let's now recite this beautiful surah together. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad. Thank you.
Subhanallah, Suratul Ikhlas is truly special. I hope you enjoyed learning the wonderful meanings of this surah. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum children. Today's little reminder is about eating. And everything we do should be just like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that when we eat, we should start by saying Bismillah. Eat with our right hands. Eat from what's in front of us. Sit down while eating. Try not to overeat. Never waste food. Thank Allah for that delicious meal or drink by saying Alhamdulillah. Clean up after yourself and don't leave a mess behind. Wash your plate or cup and put it away. And finally, don't forget to wash your hands and mouth when you're done. Zaki's little reminders. Look at the beautiful butterfly, subhanallah. Look at the beautiful sunshine, subhanallah. I can see a rainbow, subhanallah. So many different colors, subhanallah. Whenever I see anything nice, I always look more than twice. It's so amazing to me, and I know, yes I know, Allah created it perfectly. I can see so many beautiful things. Where do I start? Look up at the stars, and you will see what I mean. Subhanallah. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, how perfect is He? Subhanallah, 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 how perfect is He? So many different flowers, Subhanallah, daffodils and roses, Subhanallah. They smell so amazing, subhanallah, red, white and pink one, subhanallah, Allah is the creator, subhanallah, he makes everything so nice, subhanallah, from the oceans to your smile, subhanallah, how perfect you are Allah, subhanallah, Whenever I see anything nice, I always look more than twice. It's so amazing to me, and I know, yes I know, Allah created it perfectly. I can see so many beautiful things. Where do I start? Look up at the stars, and you will see what I mean. Subhanallah. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, how perfect is He? Subhanallah, 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 how perfect is He? Subhanallah, 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 how perfect is He? Subhanallah. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, how perfect is He? Assalamu alaikum children. Today insha'Allah, we are going to talk about iftar and the reward we get when we feed a fasting person. The meal we have when we break our fast at Maghrib time is called iftar. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to break his fast with dates and if there were no dates available, 
then he sallallahu alayhi wasallam would break his fast with water. We should also try to break our fast with dates and water just like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam did. A great deed we can do during Ramadan is to feed those who are fasting. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam told us that if we provide iftar to a fasting person then our sins will be forgiven and we will receive the same reward as the fasting person we fed. There are many great charity organizations that are doing amazing work in poor countries around the world and we can give them some of our money so they can buy the iftar meals to feed the poor and hungry in those countries. We can also invite family and friends to iftar and get lots of rewards right here at home. You can help mum or dad cook the iftar meal and even clean up after the meal so you can get maximum rewards insha'Allah. So kids, let's try and feed another fasting person this Ramadan so we can gain lots of rewards insha'Allah. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Allah has 99 names and every Muslim who learns, understands and applies those names to their life will enter paradise. The 99 names of Allah, the beautiful qualities of Allah, our Creator, la ilaha illahu. Al-Quddus the most holy. Allah is perfect and divine. As-Salam, the source of peace. Allah keeps us safe from harm. Al-Mu'min, the giver of security. Allah fills our heart with faith that removes our fears. Now let's repeat together. Al-Quddus, As-Salam Al-Mu'min I'm over here! Where? I'm in Mecca! Medina! I'm over there! <laughs> Where? I'm over here! Where's Kazwa? As-Salamu Alaikum! Can you guess where I am right now? I am in Medina. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, what an amazing place. Did you know that Medina is the resting place of our great Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Medina is a city in Saudi Arabia. There are about 600,000 people living in Medina. The Arabic name for Medina is Medina to Nabi, which means the city of the Prophet. And that's because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam moved to Medina in the year 622. Medina was the last city that he lived in. He was laid to rest in a masjid, which was named the Masjid of the Prophet, or Masjid al-Nabawi, in Arabic. Medina is also home to the first masjid of Islam, which is called Masjid al kuba Subhanallah, what a wonderful place. Until next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. If you count all the blessings of Allah. Assalamu alaikum, Kazwa. Wa alaikum assalam, Nadine. Is everything okay? You look tired. I'm so hungry and thirsty. I can't wait to break my fast. Well, Nadine, let me tell you about some of the blessings of fasting in Ramadan. Maybe that will make you feel better. Ramadan is a time when Allah multiplies your good deeds. 
and that includes your prayers. You should make lots of dua while fasting too. As Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us that Allah responds to the dua of the fasting person. Fasting reminds us of how much Allah has given us. Not everyone is as blessed as we are. And because we don't spend time eating, we have lots of extra time to do other things like reading the Qur'an. You even have more time to finish your schoolwork. Which means that you have more time to help your parents with cooking. And more time to have fun with your friends. Or you can go for a lovely walk in the park. Our minds are much clearer when we are fasting. So we can enjoy everything that we see, hear and smell. Wow, Kazwa, I never thought of it that way. I suddenly have lots of energy. Alhamdulillah, I am so glad I could help. I think we should stop and make a dua to thank Allah for all the blessings of this beautiful month of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum children. Today's topic is about asking Allah to pardon us for the bad things we did. One of the best things we can do in Ramadan is to ask Allah to pardon us, especially during the last 10 nights. Allah tells us in Surah Al-Qadr that there is one special night in the last 10 nights of Ramadan that is worth more than 1,000 months. Wow, how amazing is that? One night better than 1,000 months. Imagine how many hasanat or good deeds we can earn. How about we learn one special dua that we can make during these nights? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught this dua to his beloved wife Aisha radiyallahu anha. The dua is Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu anni. This means, O oh Allah, you are the one who pardons. You love to pardon. So pardon me. Allah loves to forgive us and pardon our mistakes. So we should try our best in Ramadan to make this dua as much as possible, especially in sujood. May Allah forgive all the Muslims around the world. Amin. Until the next reminder, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Look, Kazwa, someone left a banana peel on the ground. Did you say banana? I love bananas. <laughs> not a banana, a banana peel. That's not good. Someone could slip on it and get hurt. In that case, we better put it in the bin before someone sleeps, Zaki. I agree. And removing harm from roads and pathways is actually part of our Iman and faith. Is it? Sure it is, Kazwa. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Faith has around 70 levels. The highest and best of them is saying, La ilaha illallah. And the lowest of them is removing something harmful from the road or pathway. Subhanallah! If everyone were to follow this amazing teaching of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our streets would always be clean. That's right, Kazwa. Till next time, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu Alaikum. Zach is little reminders. We pray for in the morning. Sir, in the afternoon, Mah, we love the sunset. It's shower and time time. That's our five daily prayers. That's our five daily prayers. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Do you want a house built for you in Jannah? I'm sure you do. Well, did you know that if you pray 12 rakat, 
or units of sunnah prayers with your five daily prayers, then Allah has promised to build you a house in Jannah. In Ramadan, we receive so many rewards for all our good deeds. We should always find new ways to gain even more rewards. Praying our sunnah prayers is one way we can do this, insha'Allah. Now, let's count the 12 sunnah prayers. Before Fajr prayer, we pray two rak'at. Before Dhuhr prayer, we pray two rak'at and then another two rak'at. After we pray Dhuhr prayer, we pray another two rak'at. So far, that is eight rak'at. After Maghrib prayer, we pray two rak'at. After Isha prayer, we pray two rak'at. That is a total of 12 rak'at units of sunnah prayers. Are you going to do your best to pray your sunnah prayers? Inshallah you all do. Always remember to take your time and make the intention to concentrate whilst praying. I better go make wudu so I can pray my sunnah prayers. For Fajr I pray to and Thawar I pray for and Asr is for you let's do. Maghrib we pray three, Isha we pray four, that's our five daily prayers, that's our five daily prayers. We pray Fajr in the morning, the war when it's midday, I serve For Fajr I pray to and Thawar I pray for and Asr is for you let's do Maghrib we pray three, Isha we pray four That's our five daily prayers That's our five daily prayers And don't forget to pray Many Sunnah prayers a day Say plenty Assalamu alaikum children. How was your iftar dinner last night? Did you have spaghetti or a delicious salad? I had a vegetable soup that Nadine made for us. And afterwards, we had a fruit salad for dessert. Mm -mm. Send me an email and tell me what you had for iftar. In today's reminder, inshallah, we will talk about those who do not have to fast. Did you know that there are some people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed not to fast? I wonder why. Because Islam has come to make things easy upon us and not difficult. Let's see who these people are. The first person who does not have to fast is a sick person who feels that fasting will make them feel worse. A person who is traveling also does not have to fast because during their travels they need energy to get to their destination. If they do not eat or drink, they may become weak and sick before reaching their place of travel. Also, a woman who is pregnant, meaning she has a baby in her stomach, does not have to fast if she feels that she may also become weak or sick. How merciful is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He gives those who cannot fast the permission to break their fast until they are able to do so. So children, it is important for us to understand that some people don't have to fast and Allah is still happy with them. We should be understanding and not tease those who are not fasting because we don't know what reason they may have. Till the next reminder, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum.
Before I eat, Bismillah. or have a drink, Bismillah. ouch, that hurt. Bismillah. Put on a shirt, Bismillah. open the door, Bismillah. go to the store, Bismillah. get on my bike, Bismillah. or fly my kite. Bismillah. Bismillah, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. Bismillah, Bismillah, we rely on only you. Bismillah, 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 Bismillah. Before I stand, Bismillah, or sit down, Bismillah, running around, Bismillah, don't feel down, Bismillah, get in the car, Bismillah, lifting a bar, Bismillah, we always say, Bismillah, every day, Bismillah. Bismillah, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. Bismillah, Bismillah, we rely on only you. Bismillah, 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 Bismillah. Go into school. Bismillah. Jump in a pool. Bismillah. Before a test. Bismillah. I'll do my best. Bismillah. Put on my shoes. Bismillah. You never lose. Bismillah. Just always say. Bismillah. Every day. Bismillah. 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 In the name of Allah. Bismillah. Bismillah. We rely on only you. Bismillah. 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 Bismillah, 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 Bismillah. Let's read Quran. Bismillah. Just me and you. Bismillah. Break in our fast. Bismillah. Or make wudu. Bismillah. Play in the park. Bismillah. Take in a bath. Bismillah. Just always say. Bismillah. Every day. Bismillah. Bismillah, Bismillah. In the name of Allah. Bismillah. Bismillah, we rely on only you. Bismillah, 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 Bismillah. Today, inshallah, we will learn about giving sadaqah, charity. Sadaqah means to give something voluntarily or to give charity to someone. Is sadaqah only giving money? Of course not, it can also be clothing, food, a smile or even a nice word. Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, a nice word is sadaqah, charity. And in another statement, all goodness is a form of sadaqah. Do you know one of the best charities we can give? One of the best charities we can give is money to help and support a needy person. This sadaqah is very rewarding because it brings happiness and ease to someone in need. Not only is it very rewarding, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises to give you more when you give. How amazing! You can help the poor, gain hasanat, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you more. I want to give sadaqah right now. We should try to give as much sadaqah as possible, especially in the month of Ramadan. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam was extremely generous, especially in Ramadan. He would give all he had to support and strengthen the poor and needy people. So children, let's make the most of Ramadan by giving as much sadaqah as we can to those who are in need of our help and support. Start today, even if it is one dollar a day or a week. It may seem little, yet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is a lot. May Allah reward you all for your generosity. See you in the next reminder, inshallah. And remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. It's E-Day, it's E-Day, it's E-Day, yeah.
This day, what day is it, kids? Come along and sing with me. It's a day, lots and lots of fun. It's a day, fun for everyone. It's a day, family and friends. It's a day, with lots of yummy treats. It's a day, it's a day. Ramadan has come and gone We'll miss you oh so much And thank you for the blessings And all you've done for us But now, what day is it kids? It's a day Lots and lots of fun It's a day Fun for everyone It's a day Family and friends It's a day Lots of yummy treats It's a day It's a day It's a day Lots and lots of fun It's a day Fun for everyone It's a day Family and friends It's a day With lots of yummy treats It's a day Heed Mubarak everyone I hope you are all having a fun Heed day Oh, there's Kaswa Heed Mubarak Zeki Heed Mubarak Kaswa Oh, I am having such a wonderful day Alhamdulillah Yes, isn't Heed such an exciting day Sure is Lots of yummy food everywhere! <laughs> yes, and lots of family and friends exchanging gifts. Zeki, let's go on the next ride! Okay, Kazwa, let's go! hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Assalamu alaikum.